Uh, working on a cold face one particular day, a uh, cold feet. The cold face was probably about four feet high, 2,000 yards long, and the cutter went down and we hit a full mussel bed. And was, there were fossils, of mussel fossils, all the way through for 2,000 yards, pure bed of mussels. Anyway, uh, the lads, obviously being young men and started, we spent, you know, maybe an hour and a half picking the best fossils out, no coal cut whatsoever. <laughs> and that doesn't go da- down very well in a coal mine. And so the manager comes down and asks us in a polite way why with the cutter was not cutting coal. And then when we told him we were collecting fossils, he was not a happy bunny. <laughs> Digging a fresh tunnel, and we used to find uh, fossils or fern leaves stamped on the coal or, or nearly coal slate, you know, uh, and all sorts, you know, that's been the thousands of years because coal's made out of trees and ferns compressed over time and made into coal. Mostly the miners would be interested in, uh, or people, uh, archaeologists probably, or something like that, that's interested, you know.